The Irish Concertina Company was set up to make concertinas in Dublin in 2008, and they also took a pop-up shop for the week in Milltown Malbay. Sean Garvey. I'm intrigued by these pop-up shops that are part of the summer school, and yours is the concertina. Welcome, Mary. Thank you very much for calling in. Um, we make concertinas in Dublin, and yeah. we come down here to Milltown Malbay to demonstrate them and mm. meet teachers and get them exposed, I suppose. And is it worth um, your while to come down? Um, it's the Willie Clancy Week is is uh, the concertina is a huge part of the Willie Clancy Week. As you walk around the town, you'll see a lot of kids yeah. carrying concertina, mm -hmm. you know, cases. Uh, it's the most popular instrument at the moment. Yeah. Um, and we started about ten years back making our basic fair, and mm -hmm. we've progressed mm -hmm. until this year. Uh, we make this concertina called the Eru. That looks very so, fancy. So as we progress, we need to meet teachers and show them our, you know, what we're at. You know. How did you get into the business, Sean? Um, about ten years back, my nephew was laid off. And at the time, I was working with accordions, and um, we just came up with this idea. We saw a concertina, a beginner concertinas moving, you know, faster yeah. every year. So we decided to experiment, and we came up with the Claire. The concertina has a lovely sound. Mm. It's 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 always been associated with Claire. What's the process for making a concertina, Sean? Like, where do you start? Well, initially, we had to source reeds, and I was familiar with the reed companies in Italy. Uh, I went to Voice Harmonic Reeds; they're high quality, standard reeds. Um, but the, my nephew looked after all the woodwork, oh. you know, so he would go out and buy the planks and cut them all down to shape mm -hmm. and size and we invested in the CNC machine mm -hmm. uh, and the CNC machine cuts out our ends and it cuts out the reed pans and then uh, my nephew obviously cuts, puts them all together and um, creates what looks like a, a piece of art really. And are they very expensive now, those concertinas? Um, you're talking about 4,300 for this one, whereas the basic one was 2,000, you know, right. so... Um, well, Do you play I it yourself? I'm sorry, I don't. Ah, I play the recording. Don't you play to demonstrate I can for play a one. tune that I demonstrate for parents. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love the sound of the concertina. <laughs> 